There is a lot of noise on me at Apea. There is a lot of humming and crackling. There is electromagnetic interference. There is an upright piano played through a telephone speaker and a ukulele overlaid over a worn out wobbly tape. There is a sound of a river in Pruskov flowing and there is a rattle of an escalator in a shopping center in Lviv. A lot of the building blocks I used on the album are artifacts that seldom make it to a musical piece. Sounds that get filtered out, deleted, removed, abandoned, forgotten with no regrets or second thoughts. I pick them up carefully and try to find the right context for them to shine. I search through seemingly useless sonic waste to see if there is something waiting to be discovered. Isn't that something we should do more often? The way I see it, the album is about how we perceive beauty anew nowadays, as well as about things that have remained constant, regardless of the much too obtrusive shift in the reality around us. There are times when beauty and harmony get a bit harder to find, but it does not mean they are not there, they just take a bit more of an effort to come by. The album was 80% ready when I suffered from a hemorrhagic stroke and had to undergo a brain surgery, fortunately with no physical repercussions. The experience forced me to look at the things I had recorded before the incident from a new perspective, as I had to take an extended six-month leave before I was able to get back to work. To say the experience made me reevaluate certain things in life would be a banality, but it did definitely change me in a way or two. I think I have become bolder and more decisive with regard both to my future endeavors and artistic decisions. I wonder if you can guess which pieces on the album were fully finished before the bloody brainwash and which were almost entirely recomposed afterwards. I think you'll have fun looking for the new and the old me on Mio de Hapea sometime in 2023. Thanks for all the words of support I received from so many of you while I was still half conscious in the months after the incident suffering both physically from the past of trauma and emotionally from the brutal, unprovoked aggression against peaceful Ukraine I had fallen in love with in the years before the aforementioned events. But even though we are still going through the darkest hour in our part of Europe, things are beginning to look really optimistic right now, and I think good days are coming our way. I'm looking forward to what the nearest future is most likely to bring. What a beautiful world it will soon be. I'm so happy I'll still be able to see some of it. <laughs>